thumbs up or thumbs down is the same thing. I didn't think you guys didn't know that. Still interaction, it still makes the video popular. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today is day four. <coughs> <coughs> this just started. <clears throat> Actually, it's minor. Um, this is day four of uh, quarantine for uh, COVID. I should be getting my oxygen sensor. I thought I was supposed to get it yesterday. But maybe I'm supposed to get it today. Maybe I'm having amnesia. I don't remember. However, um, yesterday I did have an interesting day. Um, so I, 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 I had to get out of the house yesterday. And uh, I had an engineer. I'm looking to buy a house. So it's actually interesting. So I'm going to include that in this video. Because I, I think it would be kind of cool for you to kind of see. Uh, I wasn't around anybody. <clears throat> And I had an engineer go to a house that I'm looking to purchase. And to just to make this a little bit different than a typical vlog about uh, COVID, uh, I thought I'll throw that in because I thought it was exciting for me. Even though um, I can be isolated as long as I'm not around people. doesn't matter. If I'm by myself and there's nobody around me, it should be okay. So, so uh, I was not around anybody. All right, so I want to show you. This is possibly the home of Joe Tech Tips. This is the um, property. It's a tiny little home. I have an inspector in there now. So, since I have COVID, <laughs> I'm staying clear. I have, I do have on and gloves just so you're aware so I am definitely being doing my due diligence so I, I still want you to see um, this is going down uh, so let me show you the property so it's interesting I was trying to figure out like where my property starts but as you can see the cobblestone stops here so then this little section here is mine so that little sapling is mine so if you go straight up from this point here to the, you can't really see it, but this PVC fence, it's actually there. And it goes straight down to here. So I have this width from over here, over, excuse me. So there's no garage. It does have a second floor. I'll show you, I'll show you photos of the house. It's tiny. It's just for me. Okay. And it has a full finished basement which is amazing and that's where the Joe Tech Tip studio is going to be uh, it only has a hundred amp service of which I'll have to upgrade because I definitely need 200 amps and it's really really tiny wiring so we'll have to definitely upgrade that you can't upgrade the panel on the inside unless you upgrade the wires on the outside so that'll be a, a definite change because you can see look how tiny those wires are uh, we will be putting the radio equipment there is a second floor actually and it's unfinished second floor if everything goes okay so this is the continuation so technically um, I can widen this driveway because I want to put my boat back here um, the property is not that big okay it's not that big at all so um, which is fine because I'm 53 and I don't need a bunch of crap to, to worry about. This monster evergreen has got to go. Uh, this ramp has to go. This cannot stay because it's, it's hampering driving. If I want to store my boat here, uh, I can't. If I want to extend the driveway out a little bit, I need a little bit more width to be able to handle the boat and still be able to walk through. So we're gonna wipe, widen that. And technically, I could probably keep this evergreen, just trim it really high because the boat will hit, especially on a trailer, it'll come up pretty high here because the boat is really tall <laughs> and it'll have trouble coming, making this turn or literally just sliding it straight back to this. So 
I started measuring out a garage and, and building a garage back here. This monster tree will have to go. This is a no-no. This tree has to go because if, if I'm going to do this legally, I have to come off three feet off the property line and three feet off the back, and that stick marks the corner of the garage. So I already measured it. So that's where it would have to go legally if I wanted to do it the right way. If I didn't give a shit, I'd put it right against the fence and hopefully nobody say anything, but just in case someone wants to say something, I'll start the corner there. But if I want to have a 12 foot wide garage, this freaking tree is in the way. So this thing has got to come down. And it'll bring it straight back to here. So it'll be 12 feet wide, approximately, and maybe 20 foot, 20 feet deep, 20 foot wide, you know, depth. depth and 12 feet wide should be enough to put a car in or a shed or whatever I decide to you know put something back here I want something and then in front of that will be the boat and uh, that'll be it but this property is not that big but the other cool thing about this house is that it has a screened in porch and that's kind of nice so that's a plus here so we hang out here, smoke cigars, do a little thing, and screens are in good shape, surprisingly. And maybe possibly enclose this, make it permanent, or make it half-half. Top half screen, bottom half solid. It's still, it's really pretty. So this is a strong possibility of the new location of Joe Tech Tips. Uh, Looks like he's testing the uh, dryer right now. <laughs> uh, outside power. So this is a strong possibility. So it's a brand new roof. Has an attic fan. But really, you know what's really interesting is that this whole second floor is unfinished. It's a walk-in attic. It, it's a small house. It's only two bedroom. And... Uh, and that's pretty much it. I mean, if I do the garage over there, that'd be great. Um, I'll have a, put a foundation and then maybe a smaller shed here. But I definitely need something. Definitely need something added on. Uh, added to this. Because I need some place to, to go to, to get my, <laughs> to get my uh, snowblower or whatever. Or maybe I'll store it here and then go down the ramp with it. Who knows? So the taxes in this place in Patchogue, it's a cute little place. It's a little, it's slightly east of Route 112. Um, it's a cute place. It's tiny. It's perfect for me. I'm not looking for anything massive. And uh, <clears throat> and he's texting me of uh, of certain houses because I, I want to make sure that this house that I get is exactly what I'm that I'm that I that I really want. I'm paying it outright. I'm not going to have a mortgage, and I want to make sure that that you know that it's the house that I want and I'm going to be in it for the probably the remainder of my life so I need to make a couple of changes I take some trees down so I can put my boat back there and whatnot and um, and that's pretty much it so anyway I, I feel okay I just had that one call from the beginning but we're um, we're, we're we seem to be moving right along oh by the way I'm not really quite sure who's giving me thumb down but um, just so you know, it doesn't really matter if it's a thumbs up or thumbs down. It's still uh, interaction with the video. So if you're thinking that you're giving me negative press, you're actually giving me positive press. So it doesn't matter. Thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, I'm not sure who's doing it. And if you feel bulls enough to actually write a comment that, and tell me why you're thumbs downing it, um, it would be greatly appreciated because, you know, usually you're a bully behind the keyboard and you really, you know, the only way you can, you know, say negative stuff is, you know, behind a keyboard. You can't, you know, do it publicly. You may make a comment about it. But I just thought I'd let you know, doesn't matter, positive, or thumbs up or thumbs down, it's the same thing. I didn't think you guys didn't know that. It's still interaction. It still makes the video popular. Popular negatively or popular positively. It doesn't matter. Because that's what YouTube has done. 
They don't want to discriminate anybody based off of dislikes or likes. <laughs> cool, right? So it's positive in both directions. So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hope you liked it. Um, we're moving forward. Um, putting an, I put another offer on another house. Uh, oh, it's actually located in Selden, where I'm originally from. Well, secondly, originally from. But um, we'll see how that goes. That's um, 50000 more. But uh, it's moving condition. Ready to rock. Later.